Hey guys, so I haven't made a video in so long and I just want to tell you guys what's up and what's going on. So in a few weeks, I'll be going to Civil Air Patrol Encampment and um, it's going to be from, some, from, well I have to be there June 30th to June 7th. So it has to go from Sunday to Sunday. <coughs> Sorry, I'm cold, but if you hear me cough or something. But, um, it goes from Sunday to Sunday, and then, so I'll be making these, like, videos as a, as a countdown to encampment on things that, that are just happening. Um, so this is, like, part one of the haul of all these things that I, I, uh, it's, it's, it's a collective haul, okay? And so... I don't have everything with me so far, but might as well make a video of what I have right now. So these are both things I bought today and um, things I found at home. So first things first are towels. Um, they recommend you take two. So I'm taking this high school musical one that I've had since like sixth grade so you could see. Um, the characters, I forgot their names. <laughs> I don't remember their names. But I've had it since like sixth grade. And then this Air Apostle towel I've had for a long time. A long towel. A long time too. Um also another thing I had at home were our feminine products. You girls know what I'm talking about. You know the time of the month. Girl, let me tell you that <laughs> they rec they tell you on the packing list that you have to take that you should take your femi feminine bleh, feminine products for the time of the month even though you're not um you're pretty sure that it's not gonna come that week just take it just in case so I have them in this little pouch and they're inside here they recommend. They don't recommend. They tell you. Excuse me. They tell you to take five pens and five pencils. I am not a big fan of pencils, but I have to go buy them. But I have not. I have nine. I have five pencil. I mean pens. Ah, uh, Jocelyn, stop it. Ah, okay. Five pens. I have pens. I found them. At and so I'm taking those. Um, toothpaste. Found travel size ones. Um, these are from a uh, community service thing I did. And the prizes that they were giving out were toothpaste and toothbrushes. So I have two. I might as well just take one because I don't think there's a point of me taking two. Um, deodorant. I'm just going to take the basic one I have home. It's the Dove Ultimate uh, Fresh. Go Fresh. It's the pomegranate and lemon scent. And there's honestly like a point to like why I'm taking that one. It's because there's just a little bit left. So there's enough for a week in there. And just start a new one here at home. They tell you to take a flashlight and extra batteries flashlight extra batteries and um, the reason I like this flashlight is because it's very bright and that's how the inside looks and this is how it looks turned on bright isn't it I just blinded you what so flashlight a permanent marker just your standard black sharpie and um I don't have body washes, but um, they tell you to take soap or body washes. I'm not a big fan of soap since it tends to dry out your skin, so I usually go for body washes. But since I don't have a body wash, I have these little shower gels, which I think they're pretty much the same thing. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. So, shower gel, take you one of these. This one's in Melon Mist, but I'm probably taking this other one. 
this one, Island Pineapple, because it literally smells like pineapple, like, like, whiff it, whiff it, take a nice whiff, could just call it, just whiff it. It smells literally like pineapple. I'm serious, like, smell it. So, there's that. And then, they, they asked, they told us as well, that they told us, but it says on the list that we have to take one mesh laundry bag. And so, this brings three. It doesn't say the, 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 how big it's supposed to be, but I think this is probably big enough. I'm not sure. And it's mesh. It's straight up mesh, like, look. So, I'm going to take one of these, and then, and that was a dollar, and then they say, well, the list says to take two washcloths. I found this pack of three. It costs three dollars. So, it's like one each, one dollar each, so. Pack of three washcloths, and this tannish color, I thought it would be a bit better if it was tan instead of white. Because then it's kind of awkward if you actually have gunk on your face and then it shows on the towel and then everyone's like, ew. Well, anyway, <laughs> that's my opinion. The next door I went to was Five Below. I took everything out of the bag, so if you want to see the bag, this is a bag. But I took everything out. Everything's like right here. Um, they tell us to take a pocket-sized notebook. I found this one. It's, like, medium-sized. Um, the inside looks like that. Um, the lines are gonna, like, mess my eyes up a bit, but I like it. <laughs> so, I'm taking that. They also, it, this one was optional. Let's take a standard, normal, uh, notebook. And the only thing I don't like about this one, it's is that it's wide ruled so that's the only thing that I don't like about it but I really like the fact that the cover is plastic and it's not cardboard so it won't rip or tear and then it has also um, the, the the little line I forgot that it starts with a P but um like so you could tear out the page so yeah so, standard notebook. Um, lip balm. Got this Blistex. Oh, the no the pocket size notebook was like $4. Standard notebook was like 3 And so Blistex, about $2. $1.99. One penny. That's the only difference. They had a sale of two flip flops for $5. So, I got myself a pair, which said love and these are going to be my shower shoes because I don't want to step on the shower floor just in case if anyone has like you know that fungus and stuff that's in their feet and whatever no one wants that girl no one wants it anyways so I got this for myself and then I got a pair for my mom which has like peace signs and stuff I don't know um, shampoo, travel size is best, um, I'm taking this small one, it should last me up to like 8 days, exactly 8 days, 8, 7 days, um, it's the anti-dandruff shampoo and conditioner, uh, it's 2 in 1, so it's easier, and the only reason I got this one was because it was the tallest out of all the travel size shampoos there, the other ones were like this big, compared to this one, so it has like this much more. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Anyways, um, Garnier Futrice hairspray and a travel size portion. I really love these. Like these, are, I always buy the small hairspray because I don't know. I find that you can take it anywhere, so you just and can go with it as well. So I don't know. I love that. I looked for insect repellent everywhere, I'm telling you. And it says on the list that we have to take insect, insect repellent. I couldn't find insect repellent, so I found these. These are by Cutter, 
and it's uh, it's insect repellent, but they're wipes. So what it pretty much is, it, and it only brings three in one pack, and they're individually wrapped. <laughs> that rhymes. But um, so I bought two. So what it is, it's like um, it's a wipe. So you open the packet, and it's a wipe. And then you just like rub it on your skin, and you have insect repellent all over you. Um. The only thing I have to say about this is I don't think they're going to last me for the whole week. Knowing that I bought two and it comes three for each, so it's six. So I'm going to, for two days, I'm going to be insect bait. And that's going to be sad. And I'm going to be depressed and I'm going to be itchy all over the place. So, um, next is, uh... Uh, what's this called? Sunscreen. <laughs> uh, SPF 50. Um, it's the sport one, so like when you sweat and stuff, you doesn't really like wash off. Um, scrunchies, black scrunchies. I couldn't find brown, so I had to go with black, closest to my natural hair color. Uh, it looks kind of bluish though. A black, yeah, blue. It looks blue, but it's black. It's straight up. They're black. And I love these because they don't have the metal, so my hair won't get stuck in them. Knowing that my hair is extra curly. Um, oh, that's it. Oh, one more thing that you're supposed to take that it says um, not to take. We're not supposed to take contact lenses, so we're supposed to take our glasses. And as you can tell, my glasses are very jacked up, but I have to take them. Um... That's pretty much it for the video. I thought this was actually going to be a bit longer than I imagined. It didn't seem to take that long. Um, but uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't be afraid to subscribe, like, or comment if you're going to encampment for CAP. Um, what are you excited about? Like, I... Have you gone before? And if you have, what's your, what's, like, the experience of it? Like, what have you experienced from it? What have you learned? Oh, how was it? You know? Uh, I, I just want to know, like, what do you think about it? And if you're going for the first time, are you afraid, scared, ecstatic? Um, I think that's a word, right? Um, excited, <laughs> nervous, I don't know. And if you are never planning to go or think that you will never go, <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you. If you're not in CAP or in AFGROTC or in any ROTC program and don't have encampment, what do you think it would be like? Hmm. I don't know what to tell you. What do you think it would be like? So more videos of these would would come up this is part one part two should be uh coming up soon when i buy everything else um well yeah thanks for watching